In this video, we look at the following cybersecurity threat, malware. So malware is a catch-all umbrella term used to refer to a variety of forms of hostile or intrusive software. As we said, there are many types. The three you need to know about for the exam are computer viruses, Trojans and spyware. So let's take a look at each in a little more detail now. So the first and typically the one that most people are aware of is the computer virus. This is simply a piece of code which is capable of copying itself and typically it has a detrimental effect such as corrupting the system or destroying data. Computer viruses can be introduced to computer networks and systems accidentally or sometimes on purpose with malicious intent. The next category are Trojans. Now this is a program that appears completely harmless, but is in fact malicious. A lot of people receive Trojans when they download software, games, patches, or other data off the internet from unreliable sources. Always make sure you're getting downloads from trusted vendors. It may be tempting to, for example, download a game from an untrusted site, possibly because they're offering it for free. You download the game and indeed the game installs on your PC. However, along with your download as you install it comes a Trojan which silently installs itself in the background and sits on your device. Unbeknownst to you, the Trojan has now installed what is known as a backdoor into your computer system, a little program that allows an external hacker to then bypass your computer security. This could be sat on your system for weeks, months, or even years without you realizing that someone else has access to your computer system and is monitoring your usage, your passwords, and your internet traffic. The third category is spyware. Now this simply means software that enables a user to obtain covert information about another computer's activities by transmitting data covertly from their hard drive. So it may be that you've previously downloaded some software and it's installed a Trojan. Now this back door is on your computer system, a hacker installs spyware onto your computer. They can then use this spyware to monitor your computer's activity and send back information to them. All sorts of information be collected, like email addresses, passwords, credit card numbers, keystrokes, internet surfing habits, and much, much more. So how do we protect against malware in all its various forms? Well, there are several ways. One is simply improved code quality. Now we've given the example of buffer overflow protection here, but simply for the exam, what we're talking about is when someone originally writes code, they go to the extra effort of making sure that code is robust, something which we talk about in another topic. Regular updates and maintenance. As was mentioned in a previous video, you should always be installing operating system patches and upgrades. This is especially true if you have any antivirus software installed. Make sure to update it regularly so it can protect your computer from the latest viruses. And of course, you can simply educate users. Make them aware about social engineering and phishing. Teach them how to correctly configure things like spam filters in web browsers and firewall software. So just to recap, Malware is an umbrella term used to refer to a variety of forms of hostile or intrusive software. The three types of malware that you need to know about are computer viruses, trojans and spyware. The best way to protect against all forms of malware is really the improved quality of code, regularly updating your software, installing firewalls and simply educating users to the risks.